Hello everybody, welcome back to more Leaf Green, I should probably stop singing before all of your ears bleed. Hello everybody and welcome back to more of Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we conquered the final gym for the Pokemon League and now we are back on Route 22 because we will be going to Victory Road and the Indigo Plateau. These are the final steps before we reach Victory Road, so we should cherish them dearly. What? James, what a surprise to see you here! So, you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool! Then I'll whip you, James, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League! Come on! And once again, we battle our rival Gary here on Route 22. This time, he has a full team, and he is going to be leading off with his Pidgeot. Let's go Jolteon! As you see, his Pokémon are very high leveled, so we're going to need to do a lot of training before we take on the Pokémon League if this is how challenging they're going to be. But let's start off with a Shockwave, and that does just about over half, which is good. This Quick Attack shouldn't do too- oh my god, it actually did a lot. I should have calced that the first time it hit Quick Attack. That's alright though, Shockwave is going to be taking out Pidgeot in two hits, which is awesome. Alright, so one Pokemon down, five to go. Next up is going to be Rhyhorn. We will be switching on out of here for Poliwrath. Alright, Rhyhorn, how about you take a Water Pulse? There we go, down goes Rhyhorn! Four Pokémon remain for Gary. Lots of experience from this battle. Next up is Alakazam, super effective on Poliwrath due to the part fighting type, so we will be switching on out of there, and we will go into Nidoking. It's been a long time since Nidoking got an actual battle, which is, uh... Which is very bad, because <laughs> I should have trained up my Pokemon equally, and yeah, the Psychic's going to hurt, it takes us out, okay. Well, I wanted Nidoking to get some type of battling in this episode, since it hasn't been in the last, like, what, five, ten? Alright, uh, Snorlax. Snorlax can take Alakazam. Alright, let's go for a Body Slam. A Psychic, uh, let's see how much that's gonna do. Okay, it didn't do too much damage. Remember, Snorlax is a very bulky Pokémon, so it can take hits from regular defense and special defense. And it can also deal heavy damage for both attack and special attack. Body Slam did a lot, and Headbutt isn't that much weaker than it, so we're just gonna try to finish it off with a Headbutt here. And indeed we do! Beautiful! Alright. Well, almost level 39 there for Snorlax. Next up is going to be Growlithe. We will stay... Oh, no, I wanted to press B. We'll stay in. Okay, so half of his Pokemon are down, and this will be no different. The Intimidate's gonna hurt us, though, because we don't have any special attacks on Snorlax, but that's fine. I mean, we can still probably take it out in two or three hits. Let's go for Body Slam. Try to get off the Paralysis on it, just so it's much easier to take it out. Our defense fell, but that's going to be okay. Snorlax can take all the hits in the world. Leftovers is going to help bring our health back up steadily to full, which is awesome. I love Leftovers. Let's go for another Body Slam. Oh, it's using Takedown. Oh, boy. All right, that didn't do too much. Growlithe, if it was evolved, it probably would have done a hell of a lot more, but it's not. I don't know if Gary will ever evolve it. The world may never know. Anyway, level 39 there for Snorlax now. Thank you, Growlithe. I appreciate that. Next up's going to be Execute. Alright, so we have a duplicate Pokemon for Gary. Oh, we'll stay in here. 
I remember when I had an execute. Ah, those were the days. It was only probably ten episodes ago. Um, not even, actually. <laughs> Let's go for a body slam, as it uses poison powder, but... Sucks for you, I have immunity. Wow, body slam did nothing to that pair of eggs. You'd think that the eggs would be totally smashed, and they wouldn't be edible anymore, but... Whatever, sleep powder, okay, now you're gonna start using different powder moves, just to make sure I fall asleep. Oh, wonderful. Alright. Hmm. Alright, Leftovers is gonna give us more health. I'm debating whether to just stay in until I wake up, or switch out here. Snorlax needs the experience, so I'm just gonna try to stay in. Solar Beam, oh boy, here it comes. Snorlax, come on, can you wake up? I'm interested to see how much the Solar Beam's gonna do. Because Solar Beam has a high uh, power, and uh, I don't know if Snorlax can take it all too well. We'll see right now! Oh my god, he took it like a champion! Beautiful. Snorlax is a very underrated Pokemon. Uh, people are too afraid to use it because of how overpowered it is. Frankly, I don't think it's overpowered at all. It can help you in tight situations as far as taking hits from boss Pokemon go. And we got the paralysis from waking up on that body slam. Wonderful! I'll be interested to see if that stops the solar beam from happening, because he collected the light. We'll find out in just a second here, but let's go for another body slam. There we go, and solar beam will connect. Alright. That would have been cool if we got... Uh, the paralysis hacks on there, and uh, it wouldn't have used Solar Beam. That would have been excellent. But that's fine, all in the same. Let's go finish it off with a headbutt. Oh, wow, it actually survived. But he flinched. Uh, Gary might heal up here. Although he didn't heal up when he was in low yellow, so we'll see. Nope, he's not going to heal up at all. There we go. Down goes Execute. Alright, and Snorlax gets more experience. Next up's Blastoise. Alright. We will switch out into... Oh, Jolteon's actually pretty low. Uh, let's go into Executor. It's weird how my last two team members are now pretty much the highest leveled. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, let's go for a Solar Beam. Yeah, Blastoise, he's uh, pretty high leveled. I forgot Blastoise had Bite. Please don't flinch. Uh, and we flinched. Okay. Well, Executor is going to go down no matter what. So, uh, do we have... We have one full restore. And we can buy more. Uh, we can actually buy full restores uh, when we get to the Pokemon League. So, I'll use this one here on Jolteon. And, uh, thank you, Executor. You were of great assistance for us. Um, let's see here. Let's go into Jolteon. Jolteon is very low compared to Blastoise here, so I don't think he'll be able to take... Oh, wow, we're actually faster than it. Alright, that's good. Let's see here. How much is that guy? Okay, it does about... I want to say one-fifth? Doesn't look like one-fourth. Actually, thank you for that rain there, Blastoise, because this is going to help our thunder moves. Uh, very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, look at that power-up for Shockwave. Beautiful. And Water Gun. That's probably going to do a lot. Oh, wow, not really at all. That did less than half. What? All right, Shockwave to finish it off, because that rain's still going strong. Oh, wow, it survived. Oh, my God. We should be able to survive this Water Gun, though, right? No, not at all. Okay. Um... <laughs> Let's be a troll. Uh, actually, no, Snorlax could use the levels, so let's go into Snorlax. I was going to be a troll and send in Charizard, but that wouldn't have been too fair. Alright, Snorlax, get some health back from the leftovers, and let's finish it off with a Body Slam. Let's see how well we can take this Water Gun. Oh, wow. <laughs> For a low Water-type move, that actually did a lot. Critical Hit Body Slam, that did not matter whatsoever. But thanks for it anyway, go- Oh my god, look at that experience! And we have defeated our rival Gary for the final time. What? I was just careless, you!
That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. James, you need more practice. But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell ya. Stop smelling me, you freak! Alright, that's enough of that. Let's head back to Viridian to heal up our Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. And let's head to Victory Road. Alright, our Pokemon are all healed up. And now it's time to head to Victory Road. Oh man. This is it. We are on the final stretch of our journey. And hello, wild Pokemon! Rattata, you just had to sneak in here during the epic moment of this Let's Play. You just had to do this, didn't you? You attention-seeking rat. Anyway, we are here at the Pokemon League front gate. You guys ready for this? Let's go. Aren't you gonna ask me about my badge? Oh! That is the boulder badge! Go right ahead! Okay, that was weird. He should have stopped me. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, I... Mm, yeah, there was a recording interruption, and that was automatic the first time, and... Yeah, n never mind. We'll go into details about that never. Anyway! You can pass here only if you have the Cascade badge! Oh! That is the Cascade badge! Okay, then. Please go right ahead. You can pass here, only if you have the Thunder Badge. Oh, that is the Thunder Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. You can pass here, only if you have the Rainbow Badge. Oh, that is the Rainbow Badge. Please go right ahead. You can pass here only if you have the Soul Badge. Oh, that is the Soul Badge. Please go right ahead. You can pass here only if you have the Marsh Badge. Oh, that is the Marsh Badge. Please go right ahead. You can pass here only if you have the Volcano Badge. Oh, that is the Volcano Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. Thanks for the free full restore. You can pass here only if you have the Earth Badge. Oh! That is the Earth Badge! Okay then, please go right ahead. This is it. We have arrived at the Victory Road Gate. Next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we will enter Victory Road and head towards the Indigo Plateau. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.